and welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Yvette Pecoraro, and she is more affectionately known as Yvette Ohm. Take a moment and breathe. She is a songwriter, she is a chant artist, and a yoga teacher, and she is owner of Heaven's Earth LLC. Yvette, a very peaceful and calm welcoming. Thank you for being on the show. I am thrilled to be here, Fran, mm -hmm. and to share my story with you. Um, it is my honor. It is my honor. Yvette, earlier before we started the show, I remarked that not only do you look beautiful, but you look very at peace with yourself. And you shared a wonderful response, and I know that our audience would benefit from hearing that. Well, you asked me <clears throat> very blatantly, how do you look so good? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yoga. Yoga. And that's really the beginning. Mm -hmm. Taking care of oneself usually begins from within. Mm -hmm. These are just the physical benefits from it. We're living in such a, a, a fast-paced world, and we all get so caught up in it, always feeling like we need to get a jump ahead, get ahead. There's all my, always so much um, on our minds. Our minds really rule our lives today. Mm -hmm. And that's fabulous, but at the same time, our thoughts can exhaust us. Have you ever had mm -hmm. like the same racing thought, the yes. same worry, fear, yes. anger, doubt, all those things? They will wear on the body. And so what you're seeing here is is an expression of what's going on inside. And it's been a long haul, by the way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's Fair been enough. a journey, Fair right? Enough. Let's be real. It's okay. been a journey. Right. Uncovering what really matters to you. So when I step on a yoga mat, mm -hmm. I slow down. The heart slows down. I get in touch with my breath. Mm -hmm. Everything else drops away. It's all about that moment, being in the present. So when we practice, we're moving, we're, we're getting strong, physically stronger, more flexible. Mm -hmm. That means you're gonna be stronger in your own life when you get off the mat. It can't help but impact it. Uh, when you get more flexible, you'll be more flexible with your choices mm -hmm. when you get off the mat. And so yoga is not just the physical thing, it's, it's the whole picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if it touches that part of the soul, that is happy to be here on this planet, mm -hmm. that feels that we matter, that feels that we long to connect with other people and share a message. Mm. What else is there? Right, right, wow. So, yeah, wow. so as you can see, I'm, I'm a proponent, I'm a, a real cheerleader for yoga, for meditation. Mm -hmm. and, and also, it really sounds like yoga for strengthening it's the inner strength um, that really transforms the rest of your life. I mean, it connects. If, absolutely. If, if you're feeling strong inside, mm -hmm. then there's no door you're not going to open. Mm -hmm. And isn't that what being an entrepreneur is about? Absolutely. Seeing absolutely. yourself, mm -hmm. being connected to your dream, mm -hmm. and then going out and sharing your message, putting it out there. That's mm -hmm. fearlessness. Mm -hmm. That's a yogi. Mmm, very, very powerful. Now, you do multiple things. So a yoga teacher, and I definitely hear the passion and the purpose there. I also shared earlier that you're a chant writer, and that is not a term that I hear often. So I'm going to bring in my little girl curiosity and sure. say, what's a chant writer? How'd you get there? What do you do? Well, first of all, I've, you know me. I was always a singer, always mm -hmm. in shows and musicals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, there's yoga music. There's mm -hmm. music for yoga and meditation. And so I began as a yoga teacher. <clears throat> and then I started to create songs so mm -hmm. that when people are practicing, there's a message sound-wise. If you think mm -hmm. about how we're impacted also by the things we hear, Mm -hmm. If we're surrounded by negativity, what 
music that slows us down, that has perhaps positive thoughts in it, mm -hmm. how that can shift us into this open space of possibility. And mm -hmm. so that's what became my passion, was to take the yoga that I love mm -hmm. and the music that I love, yeah. merge the two together. So now my I have three CD recordings out there now, mm -hmm. and people play them in their cars to relax, during mm -hmm. a yoga practice, to meditate, when they're cooking. Mm -hmm. And it sort of brings them into their own zone. Like, my passion is to invite you to step into your own zone, mm -hmm. to create your own masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Would you show your CD yes. and sort of talk about how this evolved? I know on Facebook you were like really excited about the cover. Very so, excited about the cover. a dear friend of mine, Nancy Marcus Newman. My husband had taken a picture of me and uh, she sort of turned it into this digital art. Mm -hmm. And the CD is entitled We Are One. Mm -hmm. And that's my mantra. Mm -hmm. So certainly today I am an American. Mm -hmm. My parents were born in Alexandria, Egypt, mm -hmm. of Jewish descent. And so in my realm, my vibration is, it's all the same. We mm -hmm. are one. Mm -hmm. And so the CD has a lot of songs in English. It also has the chant part of it that you were asking mm -hmm. me about. Right. A chant is a, a sentence or a word that gets repeated. Mm -hmm. sort of becomes the vibration of, of, of where we're at at the moment. So one of the mantras on my CD is, I am you, you are me. Mm -hmm. This is the true heaven we seek. Mm -hmm. And so I took that, that's something that came out of me, mm -hmm. and I wrote a song. And it becomes a chant only because it's repeated, although mo the melody changes. So mm -hmm. I've created something that is very accessible. It was very important to me mm -hmm. that this doesn't just resonate to the yoga person, mm -hmm. right, right, but to the housewife, mm -hmm. the the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. the artist, and there are also mantras in Sanskrit. So wow. that's where the chant, the word chant also comes in, because in the practice of yoga, there are ancient, ancient mantras. Now, Sanskrit is one of the oldest languages, mm -hmm. uh, Sanskrit and, and maybe Hebrew. And so you take a mantra that says, you are whole. You are whole, meaning there's nothing missing in you right now, friend. Mm -hmm. Everything is perfect as it is. Now create, go out and do something with it. Mm. And so the mantra in Sanskrit is Purnam, mm. Purnam. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a song, Purnam. Mm -hmm. And what's beautiful about this for people is that usually when you listen to music, you're listening to something that you love. A lot of times we'll listen to songs from our past. Yes. Right? Yes. It's like, oh, that reminds me of when I did this. Or, and then we go off to that place and we feel really good. Or a lot of times we're attracted to songs that are really sad, mm -hmm. that express our deep sense of aloneness mm -hmm. or not being understood. Mm -hmm. And what people don't realize, and I was the same, was when I would listen to those songs, like one of my favorite songs when I was a kid, all by myself, oh. don't want to be, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I kept listening to that song all by myself. Uh, no wonder I was depressed. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, you were reinforcing the message. Exactly. Oh, and it was, it was actually inviting me to be more melancholy and feeling mm -hmm. more separate. Mm -hmm. So what I love about this kind of music mm -hmm. is it has no story to it. Mm -hmm. It's all about right now. Mm -hmm. It's all about bringing out the strength, the fearlessness, the love inside you, the sense of centeredness, mm. the sense of dreaming, mm -hmm. the sense of action. Mm. That's what the CD does, We Are One. That's what I'm told, by the way. Okay, so okay. I'm going to gift this to you oh, if you don't already have it. thank you, thank you. Um, I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit, but since you did all by myself, 
Would you sing a little bit mm -hmm. from one of the songs? Sure, it's called Acapella. We Are One. Okay, good. <clears throat> if I give my heart to you, will you always be there? For I'm frightened of the things I don't know. And if I share my light with you, will you promise to be true? For I'm longing to know all of you. Because we are one in this world. We are one, we are one, and we are one in this life. We are Yvette, wow, wow. Now I've heard this through Facebook, mm -hmm. but it is so powerful to hear you and an affirmative word, and it is so powerful to hear you live. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you for sharing. Gosh, you know, the time has gone by quickly. There's so many more things I wanna, I wanna ask. Um, I, I'm going to go with the question around what was a significant moment or series of moments that really moved you into entrepreneurship? Well, quickly, as an actress, I started out as an actress, but I, I, I years ago I went to <clears throat> another audition call, mm -hmm. auditioning for someone else's piece, and something hit me. What about you? What's your message? Mm. Are you going to continually be the voice for other people's creativity? Or is there something inside of you that needs to be expressed? And that's when the yoga and the music came together. The songs just mm. came pouring out of me. The idea of the something that you mentioned that I found very powerful was this idea of action. Mm -hmm. Yes. This idea of when you what happens when you merge passion, mm -hmm. passion with with business, mm -hmm. action. That's right. That's right. And so suddenly I got my clarity. It's my music. It's my message. And Heaven's Earth LLC was born. Mm. And building community, very important. Yes. Connecting with people, doing the same things you're doing to get your message out. Mm -hmm. Knocking on those doors when it's something that you believe in. There's no stopping that, that right. wave. It wakes mm -hmm. you up in the morning and you love it and mm -hmm. you are it. You're right. And so that was it. It was the sense of who, who am I? Where's my voice? Mm -hmm. And seeing the response of people just gets you going, right? It right. just exactly. Keeps, exactly. keeps that motivation to, to reach more and more people, which is why I also have a blog now. Let's talk about your dreams. Uh, okay. Okay. Where can That's people find your blog? It's on YouTube channel. Okay. And, of course, I have my website. Mm -hmm. And on the blog, we, we have conversation. We do meditation. I do singing. Mm -hmm. And my passion is to continue to grow this message mm. of oneness, of stillness, of presence, of action. Wow, very, very powerful. Yvette, would you repeat one more time for the audience your website and your blog so that they can follow you on Facebook and they can connect with you? So the website is Yvette Ohm, oh. Y-V-E-T-T-E-O-M, and the Ohm the Om sound represents the, the hum of the universe mm. that exists in all things. Mm. So there's no separation at all. It's just that one hum. YvetteOm.com. And the blog is it's on YouTube. Let's talk about your dreams. Wonderful. Yvette, it's been a pleasure. Who would have thought so many years ago, two Baldwin girls would share I the stage. It. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I love being here. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yvette. Thank you for my gift. I will share it. I will listen and I will also share it. Um, and so there you have it. Very peaceful and yet very energizing. 
significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me with pleasure in the studio is Yvette Ohm, songwriter, chant writer, and yoga teacher, and owner of Heaven's Earth, LLC. Yvette, thank you again. Thank you, Fran. 